Hey guys, it's Jason20W, making you guys a little update video. I've had a lot going on, like I've been saying in my last few videos. I got uh, just a lot going on right now, and I really haven't had much to record. So, but I do have a few things that I wanted to show you guys. Like in my previous video, I had said that. I was going to be getting something that was brushless, so I figured I would uh, show you guys that. Um, I didn't want to show you guys it yet until I had a chance to get some stuff done to it and whatnot. And I also had ran into some problems with it right off the bat, right out of the box. But it, the first thing... Um, that I want to, well I actually got a few things, but I want to try to make the video as short as possible and we're already at a minute. Um, I don't know if you guys remember my Novak HB Pro 5.5 brushless system. Well, um, the, the motor that came with the speed control originally, it, it didn't, it didn't go out on me, but, uh, it's got this sensor wire, if you guys can see that right there. You see this sensor wire right here? Well, on the older style motor, it's an it goes inside the motor, it's internal. So, you can't change this wire if anything were to happen to it. There's, there's the end of it. Uh, the only way that you can... Uh, fix this wire is, is if you cut it off and you solder, you know, splice it in. And uh, I did that and I didn't like that. After I did that, the motor glitched and it pretty much just went all haywire. So on Novak's website, you can get a. Um, remanufactured motor of the same kind for a discount price but I didn't want to get that motor and end up having the same problem so what I did is I ended up getting in their newer style it's um, the the same motor you can see that it's the 5.5 Novak it's the ballistic the Ballistic 550 5.5 turn, that's a $130 motor. Yeah. But, um, according to what Novak was telling me is that is that's a way better motor, it's a way, way better built motor. It will give you, you will have, uh, I'm trying to think of the word of what, what it was that they told me. You can take the motor apart, and you can put other other stuff in it. You can ch the parts in it are interchangeable, like you can change the turn of the motor and everything and whatnot and whatever and the timing, whatever the case may be. But uh, you know, yeah, I wanted to show you guys that quick. And I also wanted to show you my my RC parts are really starting to grow. But you know. It's, it is what it is. Now, on to what I got. There it is. I got the, Dur the Duratrax Evader Brushless. And um, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys something about this truck. Now, I don't know what Duratrax was thinking, if it was just, you know, a big... Uh, typo or what the case may be but I have the box right here okay and it says right there requires six cell five thousand main nickel metal hydride battery with Dean's ultra plug connector okay so I was like okay great I have that well um this is the speed control that comes in that truck Okay. Take a good look at it. Doesn't look used, is it? It's because it's not. This is brand new. 
doesn't have a single run on it. And um, it says on here, if it'll focus enough, two cell light post, 7.4 volt, or six to eight cell NICAD nickel metal hydride, 7.2, 9.6, right? Okay. Now, uh, I took a 8 cell pack, or a 7 cell, 8.4 volt, and uh, plugged it in, you know, and uh, turned the controller on, turned the speed control on, and I had steering. Steering was fine, but I had no forward or reverse. And the speed control was just going nuts. I mean, it was just making all kinds of weird beeps and freaking out. And it, it was just blinking erratically. And I was like, what in the... So I called Duratrax, and I'm talking to them. And they say that um, these trucks come... Uh, trying to remember everything here, you know. These trucks come... LiPo set up for LiPo, not nickel metal hydride. So I was told to uh, try to do all this different stuff or whatever, and I'm going to show you guys something here. This video is going to be longer than I wanted it to be, but you know, I want you guys to be aware for the people that do not want to run LiPo. I cannot stress that enough. Yes, there are people out there that still don't want to run LiPo. And guess what? That's just the way it is. Now, okay. Like me, I haven't switched to LiPo yet. Yes, I probably eventually will, but I don't have the money for it. Okay. Now, all this is required... I know you're. I'm not. I know you're not going to be able to see it all, but there's a whole page on programming this speed control, and I'll just quickly glance through this all here, so you can get an idea as to what I'm talking about. And you guys can go ahead and pause this and read it all you want, whatever. You know. I looked at all this and I went, what? Um, <laughs> and they call this a user-friendly speed control? I am uh, not understanding the, the whole part of uh, user-friendly here. And then you get down here. You know, and then you got all this and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. Okay, now... When I first talked to Duratrax, the guy I talked to said that those trucks come um, nickel metal hydride ready. Okay, He swore to me up and down that it was nickel metal hydride ready and he didn't understand why it wasn't working, blah, blah, blah. And he had to try it. We're trying to do all this stuff on this page, you know, over the phone and all this and that and whatever else and... He goes, okay, well, if that's not working, well, then uh, there must be something wrong with the speed control. I go, a brand new speed control? I haven't even ran this thing yet. What's, what's going on here? And he's talking all this technical term stuff and whatever and whatnot. So, needless to say, you know, I bought the truck brand new from Tower Hobbies, took it out of the box, put a battery in it. And I got steering, and that was it, and I didn't even get to run the truck. So then, that's when I called Duratrax and everything. They gave me the runaround for 15, 20 minutes, and then they finally decided they are going to send me a new speed control. Okay, well, now, I had the truck sitting up here, just like that, you know. And it had sat there for a week and a half. And I was like, you know, this is ridiculous. So, I took, you know, obviously I have the two Villion systems out of my Revo, because I'm going to be putting the Novak system back in my Revo, 
and that's another whole video. Um, so I put one of the Villion systems in there. Bam! I was outside playing. You know, I ran this thing two days, and then stupid me, I I got a little nuts with it. You know, out in the cold, and I broke it. I broke the transmission brace. It's gonna be hard to see because I know it's dark. But transmission brace right there, and then the the skid plate right here. I broke it right in here. Now, Dirt Tracks has a uh, one year stress tech guarantee. You know, um, you can either send in the parts with your information, and then they will mail you back the parts, or or you mail you mail the broken parts to them with your information. And then they will mail you new parts. Or um, you can take a picture of the parts and email them to them. But you have to email them a copy of the invoice of where you bought the truck. Okay. So I did all that and everything. And that took, oh geez, I don't know, probably about, uh, I, I can't even remember. It's been so long. Um, almost a week just to get the two parts. And then I finally got the parts and I put it all back together and everything and I still hadn't gotten this. My replacement speed control, the one that was originally in there. So I was like, what the hell's going on? So I called them up and uh, the guy goes, oh, I've been waiting for you to get a hold of me because... There's all, I wanted you to try all this other stuff and blah, 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 blah. So, by, you know, obviously by this time I'm extremely annoyed. And I go, do what? We did everything that we could. You know, and he goes, oh, did you try this? Did you try that? You know, did you, did you pull your motor wires off? Or are, they, are they backwards? And I go, I haven't messed with any of that. I, like I told you, I put a battery in it, turned it on. No forward, no reverse. So then he goes... Oh, okay, well, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't this or that or that or this, you know, so I'll go ahead and get that speed control shipped out to you. So I've been waiting almost two weeks for this speed control for nothing. So, I'm telling you guys this right now for everybody out there that is looking at getting this truck. This truck, it's a nice truck and everything. It's got a nice radio system, nice receiver. The truck is built tough. All in all, the truck is nice. Okay, um, but if you plan on running nickel metal hydride on it, you better <laughs> you um, better be an Einstein or understand extreme programming because I sure as hell don't understand that, and I've been doing this 16 years. So <laughs> there's a little update slash rant video. Sorry if I was kind of carrying on there a little bit. But I just want to make sure that I'm not putting dirt tracks down or nothing. This is my first dirt tracks product. And I, like I said, I really, really like the truck. You know, it, it's fun to drive um, with the Villion, Villion, however the hell you say it, set up in there. It's really fast. And this is a 3500 motor. The motor that comes with the truck is right here. This is a this is a 39 uh, 3930. So uh, I'm curious to see what it's gonna do. But uh, anyways, oh, and real quick, this video is way longer than I wanted it to be. But I was also gonna show you guys this too. Uh, you're gonna run this motor, especially out in the wet conditions. Make sure that you put something over the bearing. Because it's exposed. I just put a piece of electrical tape. You know, it'll work. So, anyways, uh, that's all I got as of right now. The, I do have more coming. I, I, am, I might be getting another truck here coming up and maybe in the next few days. So, be on the lookout for that. Uh, there will be a Revo update coming up. Uh, I've had few, a few of my subscribers kind of yelling at me because I haven't been making videos like I used to, but 
if they if people would watch my other videos they would know why but anyways uh things are starting to slow down here now so i should be able to start making uh video sooner but anyways now i'm just rambling on so i'm gonna let you go guys go for now please rate subscribe and comment and we'll catch you guys later